Hi guys. It's me. I'm at my sister's place and um, she's she's taking me out. <laughs> there she is. She's in the back. She's, she's, took, she's talking to a man. Anyway, um, I'm trying out. My sister's borrowing me her Canon camera for like a week or so. So I'm going to try it out. I think I'm going to like it personally because... Um, yeah, it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Now, let's talk on the phone and you guys can hear her, so let me run away from that. But uh, we're on our way out. We're going to. We're going to do a bit of shopping, basically. And then after that, we are going to have some lunch at a Korean barbecue place that we've always wanted to try. It's called Surasanga or Surasang. I don't know. It's in Santon. It's in Sunny Hill. So we're going there, uh, but before that, we're going to start off at the mall and just run a couple errands, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, really, really excited. Let's go! I'm going to be spending the day with my sister. So excited. Okay. Alright, we are in H&M. The lady is looking for leg warmers. There she is. She's, look <laughs> She's looking for leg warmers. She's been tweeting about it all freaking, um, like for the past two days. But um, yeah, right now we're just, we're just looking about, browsing. I don't want to spend money. The lady will always take me out and make me spend money. And I don't like spending money. I'm, I'm, I'm very well behaved these days. But let's have a look. We're in H&M. I do need pajamas. I can't say. I do need pajamas. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> She's a bit of a mess. Here we go. Like a cool kid. I think I like these glasses. Alrighty, hey chaps, uh, my sister has just stepped out to deal with some things, you know. I'm, I'm literally running errands with her. We popped into Eastgate because she needed a couple of things. And then we jumped into Cotton On and she needed a couple of more things there. <laughs> but she actually bought me a really cute top from Cotton On. I don't like hanging around my sister, let me tell you why. <clears throat> because I'm in this phase in my life where I'm trying to save money. And every time, save as little as I can because it's 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 tough going, right? But uh, for so many of us. But I'm trying to save as little as I can. And every time I hang out with Naledi, I'm spending money. I've already bought something for myself. Naledi bought me something. Like, and now we're going to lunch and typically like today we're, we're splitting the bill because I'm, I'm being nice as well. Normally I let her pay for everything, <laughs> but I'm in this phase in my life where I'm really just trying to be more conscious of my money spending habits. So if I don't need anything, especially clothing shops, I really don't need anything currently because I've been buying a number of clothes from Zara recently and all of that. So to recently means about two months ago. And for me, that's, that's, that's okay. Like I don't need anything else for me. As long as I have my basics, I'm a happy hun, like honestly a happy hun. Um, but yeah, so me and her are just kind of cruising 
and enjoying the day. It's the beginning of the long weekend of Women's Day. Uh, Women's Day in South Africa, if you're not watching from South Africa, Women's Day in South Africa is on the 9th, which is the Friday. So we're just kind of cruising around. But we're done with the errands part of the day. So now we're going to go try Surasang, which is a Korean barbecue place. I think I said that in the beginning of the vlog while I was at Naledi's house. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have an afternoon and eat lunch and catch up. Um, I don't really talk about my relationship with my sister a lot. Um, but you know, when my sister was a little bit younger, living her best life, grooving, all of that, we had a very tumultuous relationship. Um, we would fight a lot. And I think at that time she was also just like finding her footing as an adult and all of this. But right now I, I'm so proud of her right now to see her in terms of you know, what she's doing for herself, the businesswoman that she's become, how she's kind of just like really slowed down in terms of Munati Munati and she's become so goal oriented. She's become so business oriented. I love to see that in her. Like I, I, ah, I love to see that in her, but not only that, even our relationship as sisters has become just so beautiful for me to watch. It's blossoming we're we're friends now you know uh we've always been friends but right now i can safely say naledi is part of my close circle of friends outside of the fact that she's my sister but she's part of my close circle of friends and i love that for me and for her so i'm really excited to be spending time with her and and um, we don't get to do this very often. You know, I, I see Naledi every couple of days, but it's normally just for coffee. I speak to her every day, but uh, I see her every couple of days, normally just for coffee or a quick like lunch or something like that. But for us to spend the day together um, doesn't happen very often. So when days like this happen, I kind of capitalize on that, you know. I enjoy it, you know. So, <clears throat> so for me, I just, I've just enjoyed. She's in the car now. I can't talk about her. In my car. But I've kind of enjoyed to watch her blossom into the career woman that she is now, you know. And it's not, yes. I was actually. <laughs> You see, now, you. now now, it's just going to be awkward. So, bye. I'll tell you guys about it later. We're going to Surasang now. Yes. See? Yeah, let's yeah. go. We're friends now. We hated each other Besties. when she was in her early 20s. No, dude. She was shouting at me just last week it. saying, you never make time for me. God, I never ain't your man. <laughs> but now, I did say that while she was out of the car. Yeah. Now, okay. Okay. Let's see a lunch in, guys. Ricky gain safety belt. Bye-bye. Let's go, we're here. So we're here at Surasang uh, with Nals. And we're gonna finally have some big mibap. <laughs> we're gonna have some gimbap and a lot more other things. She wanna know me, I stay low key, I'll cast no breaks, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company?
fucking man Lately, can't nobody do it like I can Daily, baddest in the lattice in the land Body turn your nigga to a fanny up Fanny up I made it where I'm at on my own Had a couple blocks in the road But I get to the bag on the low I be counting stacks while they grow, yeah, you know me Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely got back home a while ago um, just to give you a little bit of a update I slept at my sister's house last night we went to Surasang today which you may have seen by now it was absolutely amazing enjoyed the food enjoyed the vibes the moments um, then I came home, I had a couple of things to deal with, with my sister, but now I'm home and all I can say is I'm grateful for the relationship that I have with my family. Um, and I'm also grateful for all the, the, the realness and the authenticness uh, of the relationship that I have with them. My sister and I have always been very close to each other, even despite the moments where we may potentially hate each other. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, and this is something that she said to me last night. She said, no matter how we may argue, fight, disagree with other people but with me and you we're authentic and we're real from the onset we're authentic and we're real from the get-go and that made me feel so emotional because it's true you know it's true and I without even having had it planned I spent the night at my sister's last night I'm back at my place, I'm safe, everything is okay, and I miss her. <laughs> what? But I do, I miss her, I miss my sister. This time last night, uh, her and I were sitting outside on her veranda, and we were just cackling and chatting and having a good time, you know? And being the sisters that we are. So being back home just feels very quiet, isolated. And maybe it's something that I'll talk to you guys about tomorrow. But I just feel like um, for the last couple of months, it's it's kind of been hard. I felt very alone and isolated. And I told my sister about it and she jumped on it. And she was like, nope. You're not going to feel isolated and alone while I'm here. And um, she did what needed to be done. <laughs> but um, maybe when I wake up tomorrow, when I'm cool, calm, collected, when my voice isn't sounding very fluey, <coughs> excuse me, when my voice isn't sounding very fluey and gone, Half gone, half here. I don't like how I sound right now. Because it, sound, it sounds like I can't sing. And I can sing. I can sing. But um, for now, I'm going to sleep. And tomorrow, I will plant this camera up. Um, I'm very grateful to my sister because she gave it to me to try. It's a Canon camera. 
Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'll take my phone and show you what it looks like. It's really pretty. And for me, this is something I can carry, right? I can, I can carry it. It's comfortable. It's very small. It literally, that's the size. That's the size. That's how small it is. And I can carry it everywhere. And I said to Naledi, I need a couple of days with it and I'll send it back to you. And she says, nah, nah, take all the time you need. A cannon, me, I will take all the time I need. So tomorrow we'll sit down, I'll charge this up tonight and we'll sit down and we'll talk about all of the things, especially when it comes to when you live alone and the isolation period and how it, how good it is beginning and how it gets overwhelming after some time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. For now, I'm going to wrap it up. going to finish off my drink and then I'm going to wrap it up for the night. And then I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I wish I had this at Franchuk. I would have had such a great time. But anyway, I'll talk to you tomorrow. ...store to pick out a rental. Trips with just us. Mom was grateful for the extra effort he was putting in with me. friends it's a new day it is saturday it's a day after the woman's day which was yesterday um i'm standing right i'm parked right outside a home essentials because i need some things tomorrow is our mom's birthday and we are meeting with her um we're gonna do a couple of things with her and then we're going to go with her to lunch and so I'm preparing her birthday gift today. I've got all the other things that I have bought for the gift. It's sort of like a self-care uh, pack package kind of thing. But I need to put it all together today. So um, I am getting a couple of things here at the Home Essentials. And then I'm going to go home and put it together. And then, yeah, we will celebrate her birthday with her tomorrow. And then <clears throat> um, next week is Hanya's birthday. So lots going on. Lots of birthdays in August. But, uh, yeah, I suppose it is what it is. So let's pop into the Home Essentials quickly and get all of this done. Okay? I just want to go home. I just want to go home. Like, my eyes... Yesterday was a long day of drinking and talking to Senzo for four hours on the on a video call and then took another call. I literally slept at, I think, three o'clock this morning. So I'm a bit tired, but I have to do this today. Hey everybody, it is Sunday morning. I've just woken up. I didn't just wake up. I woke up quite early, around 7. It's quarter to 11 now. It is my mama's birthday today. So I've, I'm preparing her uh, birthday gift. And it's a bunch of things. I actually saw this idea on TikTok. Thanks TikTok. I saw this idea on TikTok and I th thought it would be so great for her because she's just always so busy, right? She's taking care of the family, she's taking care, you know, she's just doing stuff that she hardly ever makes time for herself, you know? 
so I wanted to give her a little self-care package box thing and I'm shooting this from two different angles there's another camera here so you're going to be able to see what I'm putting in the I hope so <laughs> the package so if it's too far away but I'll show you but uh, I'll, I'll try and have two different angles so that you guys can see okay um, so I saw the self-care package thing on TikTok and I thought it was so great because she never has time to do all the things that we we always say that she should do, like get a massage, deal with this, blah, 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 because she's so busy. And I get it, man. Having to deal with my dad, man, that's going to keep anybody busy. <laughs> anyway, so I decided to pick a couple of things for her that I want to get and put together in here. Um, and I'm going to go onto my shelves and put in a book as well. And I'm going to wrap it up nicely. And then we are meeting for lunch. Um, and then I'll give it to her there. So, okay. So, first things first that I picked up was, of course, the, uh, the container. So, it's just a little pink cute container got this from clicks i wanted a wooden one but i really didn't have time to run around shopping for it so i got this it's a good solid size and she can use it in the house for other things as well and then uh yeah so let's let's fill it up shall we let's fill it up um first things first got a little cute pink loofah for the shower it was a little cute accessory I'm uh, going to keep the tags on there, but um, remove prices, okay? The next thing that I got is a body butter. This is from Bodycology. It's a shea butter hand cream in cherry blossom. I'm going to put that in there as well. Um, I got myself some lashes, so it's not for her. Got these little cute pink uh there's a price on here so i need to remove this there's a these cute pink shower gloves which are great for exfoliation days so i'm gonna throw that in there as well i got her she plaits her hair and she does a lot to her hair she colors her hair she plaits her hair so i got her a little uh bonnet but it's not a bonnet it's actually a wrap scarf so it's great for plaits as well and it's a satin one, so decided to pick that up so she can protect her hair. <coughs> Other big thing that I got was a... Oh, shucks. I'm going to need a pen here. The other big thing that I got is a Carla... It's a dual action facial brush and a headband set. Also in pink. Really cute. But now I need a pen to rub this out. Hang rub out the price. So this is really cute and it's pink. And I know that Hanya is probably going to also have a field day with this. So it's a really little cute um, self-care, let me look after myself moment, you know. And then of course I had to get her some masks and facial masks and things like that. So I'm showing it on all angles so that you guys can see it. But I got her these ones from Skin Republic. I absolutely love Skin Republic. I use it myself for um, my skincare products in my bathroom. I've got a few. So I love the masks as well. So we got her the anti-wrinkle mask, the five minute under eye mask, and the hydration and glow mask. So hoping that she will enjoy those as well little self-care moment this is mine <laughs> it's just a, an oil for my body because it's still winter time my skin gets really dry then i got her this essence hydra kiss lip oil she really really loves uh lip oils as well or lip products so i got her that one from essence and i got her this one from catrice and this is an overnight lip mask You'll see it. You'll see it when I edit it. But, uh, yeah. And it smells amazing. Ooh. It smells really, really nice. It's 
so I got her that. Next. And I popped into clicks because there's certain things that I couldn't find at clicks. So at this game, so I popped into clicks. One of them is this also heavenly exfoliating sugar scrub. So this is for her bath days where I want her to just take some me time out. Um, got this one as well. This is from also heavenly. It smells amazing. Oh, Lord. I'm actually mad that I didn't get it for myself, but I will. I will, but uh, it's not about me today, okay? And then I got her this whipped body cream, Paradise Glow, with coconut oil, shea butter, vitamin E, also from uh, Clix. I'll show you all of these things so you can see them, okay? <coughs> <coughs> then I got her, it was a, a three for two special, uh, on some bath bombs and these are from the good earth brand uh, We've got one that's olive oil. We've got an argan oil one and a coconut oil one. So different colors one's purple one's uh, uh, What's this apricot and one's white so Love them for her you can enjoy those and then lastly, I think we've got a Cream oil, also from Also Heavenly, uh, Pure Honey and Almond Oil, 48-hour nourishing cream, body cream. So, got that as well. It's going to be pretty cute. I'll set them up nicely now. Anything else that I'm missing? Yeah. Lastly, we have a Sorbet Glow Up Exfoliating Clay Mask for her days where she just wants to you know, put something on her face, let it sit for like 10 minutes while she's got her eye stuff. You know, I think it's really cute. So, got her that. Um, so, she can focus on herself. This is pretty much what it looks like. I will zoom you guys in so you see me prep it and make it look cute. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty from this angle. But I'll zoom you guys in so you can see it. And now I want to just look through my books. I know she is a big, 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 big uh, thriller, crime thriller person. She really loves John Grisham. John Grisham is one of her favorite authors, but I don't have anything from Grisham. So I'm going to have her try something else. So I don't know. I think, yeah, let's make it uh, something crime thrillery. I'm just going to have to look and see, and then I'll zoom you guys in so you can see me set this up and make it look cute. And I'm going to wrap it up and put it in a paper bag. Um, I'll wrap it up like it's a hamper kind of thing, and then I'll put it in a paper bag. So, really exciting. Ooh, so exciting. Look at that. Yeah, they can see it. You can't. No, I'm kidding. You will see it. So, I've actually decided to give her Thicker Than Water from uh, Kerry Washington because I read the Jada one. I read the one by Jada, and this I also received in the same package from Jonathan Ball Publishers. And I think she likes Kerry Washington. So, rather than give her a book that she'd expect, which would be a crime thriller, let me give her an autobiography. And I've heard that this is actually very nice. So, a memoir giving her a memoir rather. So I'm going to throw that in the back there and have everything. So we've got the book in the back and the sugar scrub. We've got the body cream. So I'm put those next to each other. All right. Going to see if we can just spread out the, the masks as well. The little thingies are probably just gonna float around everywhere, so that's fine. Uh, got her little. Oh, it's, it's so cute! It's so cute. This I absolutely love. I don't know, I've never tried it before, but the packaging on this is insane. It's beautiful. And we're gonna have the, the satin scarf also somewhere here in the back here. Okay. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. And then we have the, the body oils and the lip stuff. 
I think I want to do something similar to this for my friends as well. I think it would be cute. And then we just, there, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And then what we're going to do is, I got this from Home Essentials yesterday so that we can wrap it up. I should use ribbons or if I should place there to get it now. Let's do the ribbon. And she'll be like, oh my goodness, what is this? And I'll be like, oh, it's nothing. Here we go. Okay, hey. Uh, as always, running late. But um, the restaurant is literally two minutes from my house. So it's okay. Um, I never get a chance to dress up and look cute. I'm always in my slacks and all of this. And I know when I get there, they're going to be like, Ah, why are you looking so nice and fresh and cute and everything? And I'm going to be like, eh, eh. Because I never get, a, I never get opportunities to do this. You know, so that is why. Uh, but I know that they're gonna probably have comments about why I'm dressed up, and I don't care. I don't care. Ugh. And I'm not entirely dressing up, to be honest. I'm just wearing a dress that I typically don't wear because it's a it's a nice one. Yeah, everyone. Oopsie. Gonna fall over. So, one day, we should have the shapewear convert. Like, honestly, one day we should have the shapewear conversation because, yo, I, Luna, shapewear, it's hard to get on. But once it's on, you look like a dream. <laughs> <clears throat> You look like a dream. So I felt like wearing this dress. It's a bit windy outside. So I think I also might just grab uh, a coat or something. Because as much as it's a knitwear dress, it's quite light. And uh, good sis has been ill. And I'm trying to get rid of this flu for good. But uh, it's, it's a struggle. <laughs> not the easiest thing to do so I'm just gonna yeah the dress is very cute I can tell you that for free all right let me show you what the dress looks like that's the dress really cute dress and I'm wearing it with flat sharp pointed um, slip-ons so I can literally take them off which is cute I don't want to wear boots don't feel like it, but yeah, that's the dress. Looks really cute, makes my bum look big, but whatever. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Because you're getting psychologists and things like that is just so expensive now. Even with your medical aid, it just takes out such a chunk of your savings, uh, dependent on what plan you're on. You know, it's just a lot. and. To constantly be asked that um, do you take medical aid and unfortunately in the South African space coaches don't take medical aid as far as I know unless you've got a deal going on with the with the with the company said medical aids but yeah it's kind of tricky hey friends okay let's have a chat shall we <clears throat> good afternoon hi um, it is a work day and I am currently cooking, preparing something for dinner. I'm literally just making a lamb stew. I'll show you once I've finished up all of that, but it's currently going right now. I wanted to come on here to show you. Books came in the mail. So excited. I wanted to show you that, but also at the same time read out some of your i told you guys that it's women's month and i'm going to read out some of the comments and shout outs that you guys have made for women um from my last vlog so going forward anything that i shoot going forward i will read out some of your comments so before we go on to that 
I wanted to show you what I got from Jonathan Ball Publishers. I got two books. Love it. This one I haven't opened yet because it's nicely wrapped. Look at that. I can use Lucilla to wrap. Cute. And then the other one is by Elena Armas. I do have a book from Elena Armas. I forgot what it's called. I don't think I've read it yet. But this is from Elena Almas did The Spanish Love Deception. Um, this is called The Finance Dilemma. Ooh. I love the covers. I absolutely, I love the covers so much. And uh, this one just says she doesn't love the drama. The drama loves her. Okay, it's a steamy romance. Of course it is. It's Elena Armas. Uh, an engagement of convenience. Ooh. So we're pretending. We're lying. I don't know a small town love story i love small time this small town love stories one of my favorite books is uh when in rome loved it so much it was a small town love story and so yes there is something i've read by elena armas huh this one came out in july 2024 so it's already out and then we've got this one which i think definitely is from an african author i can tell you that for free i think it is it just says Kateho. that's my name and this is um oh this is just a bookmark all right all right okay so let's open it up i love it i love this cloth it's such a pity that what i'm t-shirt that i'm wearing is not mixed color wise i would have put it on my head right now I love head wraps and you can definitely use this as a little head wrap. You actually can. Wouldn't that be cute? Ooh, now I look like Doris. <laughs> Don't you love? I love it. I you can actually make it cute and actually wear it like maybe like so and then wrap it up like so you know what i'm saying could be cute thanks jbp and this one is called ripples in the pool by rebecca njau you see i knew it was an african author beneath the still waters of the pool truth and power lies as it waits tragedy ripples out in every direction when gikere selena and munene members of the new elite Return from the town to the village, they each come with their own ambitions. Gigera is a timid hospital assistant, wants to build a clinic. Selena is Gigera's wife, previously a prostitute and model in town, wants to start a school for toy making. And Munene is a powerful politician, detained during the Mau Mau uprising for stealing hospital money and plots to open a hospital of his own. Money, power, and fame. Each person has everything to gain and everything to lose. As they race to feed their modern versions of success, the spiritual waters of the pool lie waiting for, waiting, and refuses to be ignored any longer. Wow. Doesn't say. Okay. Well, thank you very much to JBP for that. As always, I love the books that are coming in. And yeah, who knows? Maybe good sis will do a nice little nyana giveaway. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's about time, ne? I think I should do one. All right, reading some of the comments that the women have made for the women. Well, that, that was my little sister. Um, Naledi got her those Bluetooth mics. Naledi even got it for herself. I'll put in a clip of how annoying Naledi was after she got it. Yo. You guys know how I feel about those mics. If you watch my sit down videos, you know exactly how I feel about those mics. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, let's read some of your comments before I have to disappear and jump into a coaching session quickly. Some of these comments are just absolutely so amazing. You know how we are in support of other women. I just love it. So I'm going to go all the way down so that I can remember where my place is if I don't get to read all of them okay um so the first one is from 
Uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth says, I'm typing this in my mom's kitchen. Almost an entire year since I've left my job uh, because of some mental health issues. I'm sorry to hear that. I started off this year at church, 30 day fast, screaming from the top of my lungs that 2024 will be my year. That is right. As long as it's so fairly, yes. This is for the woman who dedicated her entire 20s to building her career, only to end up soon to be celebrating her 30th birthday with nothing but a book that is filled with tears inside. You have all my love and support. I'm sorry, I wish I could give you a hug, but I'm going to give you a virtual yeah, hug. Yeah, here you go. Graceful, grateful that I still have my parents who created a safe space for me to understand that no matter what happens in life, I could still come home and just press pause. I love you, parents. Thank you. But we've, we've got to stand up and start all over again, sis. Life waits for no man. It's time to live again, to beginning again. I hear that 30s are a bit kinder, and so that's hopeful. They are. They're a little bit kinder than the 20s. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for that one. Thank you so much. Uh, Vuyi says, um, <clears throat> Okay, Manja, as you've said, it's Women's Month. Please don't share that segment with us too. Please don't. I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. As we've celebrated Women's Day on the 9th, let's further enjoy the rest of the month with joy and happiness. We are beautiful. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are beautiful, blessed with wisdom, and let's stand firm in our power and lift each other up. I hope you women right now are listening to this and you are attributing all that's been said to yourself. Very important. Shakina, which is another one of the followers. Hey, girl, who I know, I know the names when they come up. My message is, for all women is that we should put ourselves first. Let us be selfish with prioritizing ourselves. Say it. Say it. No, we need to be selfish. No, we need. We definitely need to be selfish. Mm -mm. Mm. Um, this one is from Zama. Zama says, a message for you women. You are amazing. Celebrate your wins as much as you recognize your lows. Yes. Yes. Never look down on yourself unless you're looking down to adore the gorgeous shoes you're in. I'm wearing slippers. I'm wearing house slippers, guys. Sorry. So it's not that deep. Literally and figuratively. Step forward. Every step forward is a step closer to your destiny. And don't let anyone pull you back. Facts. Facts. Yes. Um, okay. Let's see. Sbongile Khatebe, who I know very well and is also a member. She says, message for women. I know you're going through it. I know you need the recognition. I know you need a break. Breathe it out. You've got this, sister. Sit in your moment. Feel everything. Breathe it out. Do not avoid it. We know that we need a little bit of a break sometimes. She's absolutely right. But sit in it as well and feel all the feels. Whether they are painful, whether they are joyous, whether they are whatever, do not push your feelings aside. Feel the feels so that you can get on or through it over it and onto the other side. Love that. Love that. Love that so much. Um, women, Cordelia says, hi, Cordelia girl. She says, we need each other. Women, we need each other. Let's continue supporting each other in every way possible. Love you so much, Kat. Love you babes. We'll read one more and then we'll continue with the others in other videos. But you can put them down in each and every single video that you see going forward. Put down your message for women because everything that I record going forward from here will have messages from you guys. Okay? Women, Sib says, women, you are amazing. Keep shining, keep breaking boundaries and stay beautiful. There is more, hum there's no humanity without you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, last one. Last one. Two women. This is from Lungile Cindy. Two women. You deserve tender, authentic love and holistic care. Yes. Gentleness is what I pray you have. Your thoughts and feelings are valid. Do not be discouraged. It's hard, but you are seen. You are appreciated. Breathe. You guys are so smart. Ooh. 
You're smart and you speak well and you write well. I love it for us. I love it for us. So I'm just going to finish off this makeshift lamb. And I don't know what else I'm going to do after this. I really don't know. But I've got a session at five, which is in the next half an hour. So I'm going to finish this off. It should be done in the next half an hour and then... Five o'clock, I've got a session, and then I'm wrapping it up for the day. So this might be the end of this vlog, because I've got other bits and pieces that I need to compile together. So if it is, shop. I love you guys so much. Happy Women's Month. And yeah, together we are stronger. Together we're absolutely stronger. We're powerhouses. You need to understand. So speak your truth. Own your stuff. Be accountable. You know? Know that you can always start again. And thank you to everybody who sent the messages about how I didn't need to explain myself. I know I didn't need to explain myself, but at the same time, I mean, I did bring that particular person onto this channel, right? So you knew a little bit about him. So now it's only the right thing to just say without really going into too much detail. And there's no hate between that person and I. There's no love lost. It really isn't. Um, it's a lot more complex than you think. You think. This one, it's, uh, there was no cheating. It's nothing like that. But uh, it's just a lot more complex than you guys um, know. And there's still a lot of love there between the two of us. And uh, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Anyway, bye. I just saw this really, really... <laughs> Funny Instagram uh, reel, and I think it's so true. The question goes, when God asks you to be one of his strongest soldiers in 2025, this is how you should respond, okay? Oh, no, 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 you are not playing strong. If you get it, you get it. You want to see it? Okay, I will show you. I will show you, okay? No way. Here's it, here's it.